and welcome back to another High Performance Living Touchcast. And this week we're talking about stress and kind of a topic that we've brought up before dealing with uh, veterinary professionals and kind of the stress that they deal with. So with this week, we really want to kind of bring up how are you responding really? How are you dealing with stress? So I guess we got some bad news yesterday within the veterinary professional in, in the whole industry, rather. We did. So unfortunately, we learned about Dr. Sophia Yin, um, this fine young lady that um, talks a lot about how to handle patients in a low stress manner. And um, it turns out that she has passed away. Um, and we've heard tonight that that's actually um, from a suicide. So this is something that I've uh, kind of approached a little bit before and we've approached on our blog, um, but it's just sort of really hit me again. So I think that um, it's appropriate to, to talk about at least. And it's, you know, it's hard to not get emotional about this, um, but I really think that it's something we have to talk about. You know, in our industry, there's this whole issue of compassion fatigue and we all deal with death on a day in day out basis we have to you know this is euthanasia something we are trained and, and appropriately have conversations about but um, kind of how we're handling that within um, our own lives as well and so certainly stress is a huge component um, in emotional health and kind of how people are are kind of controlling or not controlling their their physical and emotional health. So for us, um, that's a huge key for why you know why we do what we do. Why are we talking to people um, about how to manage stress? Because I don't want to see um, any more of my colleagues go through this. I think it's just I think it's just terrible. It's a huge tragedy for our industry. Right. So I I wrote a few uh, maybe six weeks ago this blog article that actually talks about. Um, comparison between uh, veterinarians and, and things like actors um, and celebrities because they, we had learned about Robin Williams passing. So just, you know, you can certainly touch here and go back to this blog and give it a read. Mm -hmm. um, I'll probably update it a little bit talking about Dr. Yin though as well. Right. So those are all kind of the ugly things that have brought us here. Um, mm -hmm. But really um, what I want to do and what Ryan and I really want to do is find ways to keep people from um, ever having to do this so right. yeah so with with me kind of coming from the endurance and the high level of training that many athletes do one of the things that we really have to learn to do is we have to manage what's going on so not not all the time can we actually manage the stress itself but we truly have to manage our response to the stressor so we can't remove those a lot of times so got a couple of things that I that I've worked with and different companies that I've worked with and some really cool things that really teach us about our stress response and what we do from there so one of them is a company called Sweetwater Health they're based out of California and using a simple Bluetooth heart rate monitor and an iPhone app it actually allows us to actually measure what's called heart rate variability. It's used quite frequently actually in the horse industry as well, looking at horse stress, but we use it in the human stress as well. And we can look at then what is going on from a daily basis in our stress. But then once we know, we can actually start dealing with it from there. Another company that I've used a lot with, and that's really their main focus is teaching us the stress response, and that is the HeartMath Institute. And HeartMath really is a company about, hey, let's not just read your stress, what your stress level is, but let's truly teach you how to respond. So we're not always gonna be able to handle those situations. So these are two companies and are really easy devices. They have iOS um, applications. They have other devices that you can use as well. And it really does help us to become better people and become uh, able to control it a, a whole lot better. So, you know, from there, one of the things we need to do is, you know, we invite you to come and contact us and really to, to touch base with us. So whether stress, sleep, nutrition, all of these things that all feed into each other, we are here to help. And that's really what we want to do. So mm -hmm. uh, that's why we brought our two industries together from the veterinary professionals and, and me as somebody who deals with the athletes and how we, how we train them. And really veterinary professionals are athletes. So we invite you to contact us on highperfliving.com. Just touch here on the screen and it'll take you over to the website so you can uh, contact us. Yeah. Don't let any more uh, tragedies happen in this industry if we can prevent it. So... Yep. Please uh, contact us and, or send people our way. Thanks. Thanks.